They're going to have to get better on defense. They're going to have to tackle better because they got run through time and time and time again last night by Utah. And their playoff hopes likely got steamrolled along with them. 47-24, Utah beats USC. Glad to have you with us on Championship Saturday College Game Day. Reese Davis, Desmond Howard, Pat McAfee, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit. I mean, that's, SC's done now in terms of playoff contender, do you think? Yeah, yeah. And I think before we focus on what it means, because I think that's what everybody around the country is probably going to be talking about is SC's out. Now, what does that mean for the playoff? I think what Kyle Whittingham just said, it was a great reminder for all of us about that brand, about Utah, what they're about. When you doubt them, it brings out their best. Cam Rising, Pat alluded to it. We watched him last year lead them to a Pac-12 championship and into the Rose Bowl. They go back-to-back -back years of having a chance to go to the Rose Bowl. Incredible effort by Kyle Whittingham and his team, the way they played. But, man, we got chaos with your USC team that you've been trying to get home. Yeah. <laughs> you was trying to get home, but it came up short. UCLA and Notre Dame game took a toll on SC. Yeah, yeah. You saw a physically <laughs> and mentally drained football team. And it showed two errors. Yeah. Pressure on the quarterback and poor tackling. I mean, yeah. really Great poor tackling. Yes. Utah wanted it more. No question about that in my mind. That was an embarrassing display of poor just tackling there last night. Oh, and then busted coverages, too. Yeah. I, I'm looking at this game. I'm like, this team does not deserve to be in the college football playoff. You can't play defense that way. I understand Caleb Williams pulled his hamstring. He was out there trying to fight through it. But defensively, they were consistently put in bad situations, trying to tackle the ball, not <laughs> tackle the runner. Oh, man. It was, it was embarrassing. I was very embarrassed for USC as a program. The way that defense played last night with everything that was at stake, even including the Heisman. Yeah, the Heisman obviously them, was being talked about for the entire thing. In yeah. the first quarter, the way that USC team looked was like, okay, Ooh. this is the team that we thought yeah. they could be all season. I've also been riding the USC horse alongside Coach Corso here because I believe that in the biggest moments, the stars rise to the occasion. Yeah. Your biggest names are your biggest names because in the biggest moments, they make the biggest plays. Like, I truly believe that. Yeah. And they had a slew of them. So I thought they were built for the moment. I thought they were building all year. And the thing that was talked about all season was, can their defense defense gets stops every single down. They're opportunistic. They can get turnovers. And Utah, I mean, credit. Cam Rising yeah. and that team, yeah. they ran it right down their throat when they had to. They were tough. They didn't blink. I have massive respect for the Utah team who has two losses, both by three points, and they could be in a conversation today. Yep. But instead, they got to go look to another year and another Pac-12 championship. Happy yeah. for them in Utah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.